Um, well, my name is Gemini, and I'm a Durham-based artist. I do visual art, which we have around me, but I'm also a DJ and an activist and workshop facilitator. I really never thought of my, myself of being capable of being like a professional artist. I didn't even want to call myself that at first, but then again, folks in the community like kind of pushing me and being like, wow, your art's pretty dope. Like you should hang here or like how much is that piece? I want to buy it. And it really like kind of took that happening multiple times for me to be like, okay, maybe I can really take my art somewhere. And then also like seeing the emotional effect on people when looking at my art just made it feel like, wow, I'm really on the right path. Well, I use femme more often than I do women only because I want to include just what it is to identify with black femininity without having to conform into a certain gender. I wanted to include black cis women, black trans women, black boys who consider themselves to be femme, black trans folks who may not fall on a certain gender spectrum but identify with you know, being black and being feminine and and what that means. You know, I feel like when we, and, you know, just say black women, we're leaving out so many people. I want to put an emphasis of like with my art and like, what I do around this just because like, I feel like we deserve more love and more recognition. In general, just looking at art growing up, I didn't see enough black women in art. It's a struggle as a black or brown person at times to be able to find acceptance and beauty when everything around you is compared to the beauty of someone that doesn't look anything like you. When I began painting, I think I was just naturally drawn to wanting to create these pieces that I hadn't seen enough of. Even when I did see black women depicted, they were by black men or just men in general that were creating images that fit within a stereotypical thing of black women. For me, um, I just kind of wanted to push past just basic skin tone and create these images of um, women that look like me. And I really don't ever pick the colors out. It just seems like once I, I kind of am connecting with a subject, um, even if I, whether I know them or not, the, the colors kind of pick themselves. Uh, Tarana Burke, she started the me Too movement. I wanted to do something that was really kind of like a grand skill piece for me where you couldn't ignore her. And just like a really, really strong uh, representation of what it means to like speak up even when it's uncomfortable. And I wanted to just take the opportunity during this residency to have the room, have the space, have the resources to continue my mission of like creating art centered around bodies and, and faces that I just feel like I don't see enough in the art world.